Hi, my name is Dr. Tibor Lazar. I'm owner and surgeon of Lazar Veterinary Surgery. I'm now going to talk about a surgical procedure called cystotomy. Uh, this is a procedure of the bladder in dogs and cats that we perform quite regularly. I want to first thank Webster Veterinary Supply for allowing me to use their illustrations from the DIA app for the iPad. So what we're looking at here in the anatomy on the right is a pretty normal looking bladder other than that the wall has been removed so we can see the inside. Off to the right is the urethra which is the exit to the outside. On the illustration on the left we're seeing the appearance of a very inflamed bladder. It's red, irritated, very commonly thickened. Uh, in this case we see a number of little stones and that's what's causing the irritation. Stones can vary in their number, shape, size, uh, depending on the mineral content and depending on how long they've been there. Um, stones should be removed because they can at the very least continue to cause urinary tract infections, inflammation of the bladder. The common signs that you will see is a dog that goes uh, to urinate very frequently, commonly just passes a small amount of urine because uh, it, the urgency to go hits even with uh, only a small amount of urine in the bladder, but they certainly are uncomfortable and there could be an infection. Your family veterinarian will very likely do a, a culture of the urine and perhaps try other types of anti-inflammatory medications. One of the risks of not removing the stones is that they could pass into the urethra and ultimately become lodged, which would certainly be an emergency situation, perhaps requiring a different type of uh, procedure called a urethrostomy. Now there are other reasons that we open the bladder. Stones uh, is, uh, would be the most common, but we will occasionally see bladder tumors, um, and sometimes we will just have chronic irritation and inflammation and we will biopsy the bladder. So what we do in a cystotomy is we open the bladder but not quite as this illustration. We don't need that large of a view unless we're removing a, a large bladder tumor. Typically it's just a straight line incision to remove the stones. We will flush out the urethra to the outside and, and from the outside we put a catheter to flush back in so we basically want to clear the, the body of any of these stones and then we close the incision with a number of absorbable sutures. Uh, these sutures uh, will dissolve within a couple of months typically, but the bladder itself will heal even as soon as a week out. Now as far as aftercare, it's important to keep activity restricted in the immediate post-operative period. Um, I recommend a two-week period of no running, jumping, playing, outside for bathroom breaks and then back inside again. Uh, the bladder should be healed typically about uh, a week out and then the extra week is just to make sure that everything with the skin incision heals and uh, that they're as comfortable as can be before going back to normal activity. Now as far as potential complications, we do commonly see things like bruising, swelling around the surgical site, um, and you might notice your pet has uh, frequent urinations and very commonly it will be tinged with blood from the incision uh, that's uh, made into the bladder. It's not unusual for there to be bleeding for the first week to two weeks, but it should only be small amounts and it should go away fairly quickly. The urgency to urinate also should go away fairly quickly within a week or two. Uh, I would hope you would see steady improvement. As far as a more serious type of a complication, um, the most serious would be leakage of the incision. Uh, stitches potentially could break apart if your animal, if your pet is not going uh, to the bathroom f on a frequent basis, the bladder will overstretch. Uh, in theory, at least, uh, sutures can break. Uh, but usually uh, just leakage uh, around the uh, stitches becomes more of a concern rather than a pure breakage. Uh, what you would notice in these situations is that your pet is not urinating uh, um, when trying to urinate, no urine is passing or does, does not seem to have an interest in urinating. In a very dramatic case we may actually see the belly swell up because of urine collecting. You also may see just a general um, type of a sign like lethargy, just a loss of energy, not wanting to eat, potentially vomiting. Anything that strikes you as unusual would be a reason to go back to your family veterinarian or to the emergency clinic. Uh, leakage is 
unusual. Certainly it would occur in less than 5% of cases, but again, it is a very serious situation if it were to occur. In most situations though, by two weeks out, the skin incision is healed, everything internally is healed, and um, the pets are ready to resume normal activity.